Hi, I am comfortable creating my framework from scratch. So I can do both manual and automation testing for the three layers of any software, I mean, which are UI, database and API. So I am using Java as a programming language and Selenium to automate web browsers, I can say. <clears throat> my projects are based on Maven, which is a build automation tool, as we know. And I have POM XML file where I can manage my dependencies. And also I use Cucumber that allows me to implement BDD approach. I use JUnit for verification and assertion purposes. And the design pattern I utilize in my projects is actually page object model. So this design pattern allows me to locate all the web elements. So I put them in their corresponding classes. So if there's any problem with the web element, I can say that I can easily go there and fix it from there. Additionally, I implement singleton design pattern uh, in order to make sure that only one instance of the driver passing through my project. And the, I can say that the major utilities that I'm using are configuration reader, browser, and driver utils. With the configuration reader, I run the same tests against different browsers in order to eliminate hard coding, uh, centralize important test data, and easily do cross-browser testing. And I am using driver utility to be able to instantiate our project in less line of code and also be able to steadily pass the same driver instance. <clears throat> and thirdly, I make uh, use of browser util utils to centralize and to reuse some of the general methods that are not specific to one page and can be applied in different pages. <clears throat> and for the development type, I can say that I implement BDD, which is standing for behavioral driven development. This approach uh, basically is for the business team members to understand and read easily. So basically, I am writing my scenarios generally in Gherkin language in my feature files. And the code that I'm implementing logically is in my step definition, I can say, packages. And also, my framework is triggered by runner class, I mean, Qx runner. So Qx runner class actually allows me to run testing suites that I created with the tag calling like, let's say, recreation or smoke. And I have hooks class where I store some cucumber annotations such as before step and after step to create outline for my scenarios. Additionally, my framework generates detailed HTML reports including the steps, screenshots and also scenario outlines. So I just really have easy reports so that also especially our business team members and the clients who are not technically strong can also understand and understand them easily, I mean. As API testing tool, mostly I use Postman for manual testing, but I can use it for automation purposes as well. I have Java Maven project where I use REST Assured library and Jackson data binding for automating REST API. And also for API testing, I have and I use POJO classes for request and response JSON body. I implement serialization and also deserialization with the help of Jackson library, I can say. And additionally, I use JDBC library for testing the data database. I use Git and GitHub as a version control system for storing and modifications in my codes, as well as also for collaborating my software projects within our Scrum team. And also, I am using Jira X-Ray for project management purposes, and I utilize Jenkins for continuous integration. I think that's all about my framework. Thank you so much for listening to me with patience. Thank you.